that they choose him. Thank you, Lord. I also joined this great movement in the year 2011. My testimony goes like this. Why they are saying everybody that has testimony to come out? I remembered what God did for me in school. It happened that while in my final, my finals in school, there was, I used to go for class evangelism. And if I go to class evangelism and every other thing, I don't compromise my faith no matter what. During the exam, I stay on my own and write my exams. Whether you are asking me, I won't even answer you. So it happened that my classmates, they didn't like that attitude of mine. And they would always complain that I would just write and go out of the exam hall. So they came to me one certain day and told me that, Precious, you're always thinking this place is not church, oh. this place is school, and you have to sort to pass the exam. I told them before that Christians can compromise. I cannot compromise because I know who I am. That's right. That if I compromise, then the preaching is in vain. My going out to classes is in vain. They didn't say anything. They just looked at me and left. So before my final exam, that was during the first semester, I, they checked my results. Throughout my stay, they always check my results to know if I failed or I passed or to mock me. But God always put them to shame. So that particular day, they came to meet me while I was preparing for my final exam, the second semester. And told me, Precious, you have an F in your first semester results. I said, ah, me. I said, okay. I summoned courage, I went to the board. I looked at the board, I saw that it was an F. I was devastated. I said, God of choosing, you broke the yoke of 10 years lack of admission in my life firstly. And not just breaking it, you gave me scholarship to this school. I don't even know the person that is paying the school fees over, but you did it for me. Then I cannot come back for an extra year because of this particular course. So I told my dad, I told my pastor, so the lecturer said I should call, my cosme said, call the lecturer and explain yourself. I called the lecturer, I explained myself to him. He said I should bring 7,000 to sort the course. I laughed. I said, ah, so I don't have 7,000. He said, bring 5,000. I said, I don't have 5,000. He kept on talking, I didn't reply. So he asked me, are you there? I said, yes, I'm still there. When he said I wasn't talking, replying him, he caught the call. Instead of me going to give this course, the lecture at that morning, I carried it, I sowed a seed in the vineyard of God. Correct. And I prayed. And after praying, I saw more courage on the Monday morning, I went to my HOD's office. She doesn't smile. She's always boning, always frowning. But before entering her office, I declared I am a choosing three times, and I entered her office. When I entered, I saw she started smiling. I said, first sign. So I went to her, and she said, why am I here? I told her, Ma, they said I failed the course, but I'm not sure it was me because I've always tried my best. She said, what is the course? I told her. She said, go to that drawer, bring out the file. What was my, my rage number? I told her. She started searching the paper. When she saw my paper, she said, I, I've changed your results now. You can't come back for an extra year because of one particular result. And at that particular time, I don't know what to do. She now brought the paper to me and said, Ria, look at it. I have changed it. You can't come back for an extra course. You can't Power! A verdict from the head of department is as good as the verdict from the vice chancellor. In this, I, I don't think, in fact, looking at the woman, I was, I, in fact, I don't know what to say. <laughs> but she looked at me and said, I have changed the course. That was, this was her statement. Yes. I have changed the course. And anything that will come out for me changing your course, I am ready to face it. Power! Clap your hands and God as the chosen! You can try, my God. Who can find the God of chosen? Who can find the God of chosen? Oh, who can fight, my God? Who can fight that of Judah? You can fight my God. Oh, who can fight the God of chosen? Who can fight my God? Who can fight Lion of Judah? Who can fight my God? Amen. So I thought of this testimony and I was I have to stand up and give the testimony. It's a great testimony. It's it's marveled my classmates. 
And indeed, God of choosing put them to a great shame. Yes. Because they tried so hard. It is not easy to be in school. Mm. They tried so hard. They tried so hard. But I give God the glory. Thank you, I Father. appreciate him. Thank they you, didn't Lord. just stop there. They went to my second semester and said, even if you have over, you've battled the first semester, this finals of your second semester, I'm coming for you. But they went to it and told me again to sort. I refused coming back to Lagos because of it. I said I was going to stay back to pray and see the end of it. And when I came, I saw the three courses they withheld for me, my English, my um, PD, PTD and others. I looked at the course and coming out of that course, I had A and AB in that course without sorting. Power! Clap your hands on the God of the Chosen. I really want to appreciate the God of choosing for this kind of grace and help he yes. rendered to me. It's not easy at all to be in school. But I'm grateful for everything he did for me. And even the scholarship, the food, the feeding, the housing, everything was free. I'm grateful to God. I am wow. not qualified. But this he has qualified me. You are so great. So I'm grateful. I've come to return all the glory to the God of choosing. Amen. For honoring me, a little girl like me. I don't know, but I'm grateful. Amen. And I give him all glory. Amen. At this junction, I pray for my daddy Gio Heaven at last. Amen. I pray for more grace. I pray for more strength. Amen. And for every choosing one heaven at last in Jesus' name. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Clap your hands unto God of the chosen. Wow, what a sweet testimony of uncompromising Christian standard. This is what all our youths should hear, all our students on campuses, they should hear this testimony. And I wish the whole youths are here to hear this. And anytime they are having a youth program, this sister should relay this testimony again. Praise the Lord. Maybe in our combined service, you need to relay this testimony to encourage all our students on campuses that if they stand their ground and declare who they are and serve God on campus, they will still come out with bright colors. They will still come out flying higher than the wish of the enemy. Praise the Lord. This testimony is really encouraging. Let's clap unto God again and appreciate him.